All right, what's up, guys? It's Vin. What's going on? It's Nick. It's Frank. And back with another episode of the Owen Oaks Podcast. This episode means a lot to me personally. We are reviewing, honestly, one of my personal favorite artists, if not my number one favorite artist, uh, Russ. The man Russ. The man. You know, I will definitely get a lot of shit for that, but guess what? I don't give up. <laughs> you know? This yeah, man, let me let me so quickly nice. say something. Yeah. So, you know, for in rap for the last couple of years, I've heard that Ross was you know this big old joke and meme. And honestly, Vin showed me the time we've been hanging out and doing the channel. He showed me a couple of Russ songs, and I really digged it. So you know. Yeah, um, me, me too. Especially losing control. So mm -hmm. I'm ready to hear the part two version, which he just put out today, and we're gonna listen to right now, live, losing control. Part two, this is a big one. We got a oh, four yeah. minute track. Let's hear it. Let's and, go. and you did say it sounded familiar, so we'll yes. see if you do know it. Yes, because I think this is off of his live. Yeah. He'd he be doing those late night lives, letting the fans hear leak yeah. shit and stuff. Y'all don't know about that. Let's see. Run back to me, just run back to me. Just love oh, here he goes. It's been a couple years since you fucked this all the way up. Girl, but you pop up time to time. Find it. Can you tell that I'm conflicted? Can you tell that I'm addicted? Run back to me. Just run back to me. I, 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 I feel like I might fucking die. I knew you for a while, so it's hard to just cut you off. Out to me. Just come back to me. Just I feel like I might fucking die. I just gotta say so, this. Yeah. I just gotta say this kid knows the whole song, and literally just they, dropped. They Russ. literally just dropped. Russ, Russ. Wow. Uh, hook a boy up. Yeah, word. Bro, please, Russ, Russ. I fucking love you, bro. Yeah. I love I'm, your music. I'm, I'm really happy. I'm getting into Russ's yeah. music. He's a me good too. artist. He really is. Bro, he gets really underappreciated. Yeah, in the for game, sure. You know. Sure. Especially what he tells me, what he goes through, what is, you know, he's independent. Yeah, no, I, I do respect the guy a lot. Um, and I really love the vibes, you know, like, I love vibes in music. And this guy mm -hmm. is something I wish I knew about, you know? Yeah. The vibes are there, bro. It's nice and chill. Oh, yeah. Bro, I, I just got to say a little bit about it. One, put some respect on the man's name. Yeah. You know, look... If you watch his interviews, which I doubt most of you will, but you'll understand, like, a lot about him. And then you'll also understand why he got the hate he did. Yeah. The man speaks facts. Mm -hmm. He talked about all the drug problems, which is a big thing. But another part is the independence. I just want to say, if you look at someone like NBA Youngboy... Where his fan base is through the roof, one of the top YouTube artists. Yeah. If right now, like I'm just being generous here, so I'm like talking numbers, I can't say exacts, but his label is making fifty percent and he's making the other fifty. Right. You see how rich he is now, you know? Imagine if he was making a hundred percent of it. Damn bro. Russ is making a hundred percent. If young boy was making a hundred percent, he'd be chilling. He is chilling, but you know. But that's what I'm saying, you know, it's, there's just levels to this shit, mm -hmm. Russ is, like, just, he's a top artist in the game, whether you guys want to admit it or not, when it comes to what he releases, the money he's making, mm -hmm. and then he spits facts, when it comes yep. to all this, and you guys backlash him for it, and guess what, any publicity is good publicity. He's prospering. He's doing no, his thing. He just, yeah. He's gonna he's gonna pop a bottle tonight. He, he, yeah. he, he, ha he has a song prosper. He has a song manifest where he talks about just manifesting all, like this stuff with the future. You know, it just goes on and on, bro. Right. But Russ, I just wanna say I love you. Yo, I bro, the minute I heard on your Instagram the clip like from the beginning few seconds and I heard your voice come in, I was like, Bro, I've heard this. I've heard this before. Yeah. And I'm so happy you do those lives late at night randomly because I am in them. Mm -hmm. they, out of the millions of followers and stuff, bro, only about 1,500, 2,000 end up watching them. Wow. Yeah, that's crazy. That's a small... And, get, and to say I'm one of those people and I'm one of these people who've heard this song, I, I'm pretty sure, like, all jokes aside, this was... He put this on his Instagram 
like three, four months ago. Yeah. Being completely mm-hmm. real. I swear to God, I think, but yo, Ross, I love you. Your That's... music is amazing. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not gonna say you saved my life because nothing was really that bad for it to save it. But you've been a major part of my life from me just listening to your music, bro. Brooklyn Freestyle, Young God, even just 2017 is really a wolf. That whole album, classic. Bro. Yeah. Classic. Love that album. You know, and I just couldn't be more thankful for an artist like you in the game. Yeah, I appreciate your work yeah. too, Russ. Mm-hmm. Being a newcomer. Me but too. This was Losing Control Part 2. I really enjoyed the track, and so did they. Um, yep. This is the Onox Podcast. If you guys are new, make sure to check out the channel. And, you know, we love music. We post about anything that comes out and, you know, our own different takes and stuff. So make sure to check us out and hit the subscribe button. Help us out. And we'll see you guys in the next video we post. Thank you so much, and have a good day. Peace. Peace.